Hey, what's cracking everybody? On this video, we're gonna be looking at uh, Chaos. But before we look at that, I wanted to show you that I've updated uh, Linux of Prime. Uh, so the next ISO will have the video example. And if you click on this, it'll open up VLC along with the video. So this pretty much uh, has the uh, instructions on how to uh, set up your uh, Wi-Fi. So basically, uh, this is just an update on that. All right, so the video will now be here. So if you need to look at the video, you just click on this link and you can look at the video or you could just connect the Wi-Fi. And then you proceed and just start your installer for whatever desktop environment you wanna install. All right, but uh, this is just a quick update on uh, Linux Hub Prime. So uh, by the time you see this video, this ISO will be uploaded. Now let's take a look at uh, Chaos. All right, so here we are on the Chaos website and it says right here, a lean KDE distribution. Chaos is an, op is an independent built from scratch Linux distribution focused on QT and KDE. And you got some more information right here. So I'll have this link down in the uh, video description, just in case you want to take a look at it. It does use the Calamari's installer. It has a custom package viewer. Uh, it does use Octopi. And I think it also uses uh, Pac-Man. So uh, we'll go ahead and install it and we'll test those features out. All right, so let's head on over to the virtual machine and get it installed. Okay, and we are on the virtual machine now. And we have the... Uh, it's a welcome screen and it says right here, install chaos. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. And it opens up at what looks like the Calamari's installer, but it is uh, very uh, modified. All right, so current language, American English, click on next. Uh, time zone, America, Los Angeles, that is correct. So I'll click on next. Uh, English default keyboard layout is correct. Click on next. Uh, right here, we have some options. I guess this is for like Office. So we have Caligra, LibreOffice, no Office Suite, or minimal install. So right now, by default, it's set to Caligra, and we're just gonna leave it at that. Click on next. And please select an audio option for your install, or leave the default Popwire. So I'll just leave it on Pipewire. But if you wanna select Pulse Audio, you can do that here. All right, I'm going to select Erase Disk and Swap to File and EXT4. These are just my default settings. You can select whatever you want. All right, Grub2 or No Boot Loader. I'm just select Grub2. All right, now we're going to answer some uh, personal information. What is my name? Hub. All right, now it accepted that password. Reuse the same password for the root account, log in automatically, which I don't uh, recommend for new users. And I'll go ahead and click next. All right, here's an overview of everything. Click next and install now. All right, so while this is installing, I'll go ahead and pause the video as I usually do. And when we come back, we'll take a look at uh, chaos. Okay, the installer finished and we are rebooted into the system. So one of the first things I wanna do right now is fix the uh, screen resolution. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, our screen resolution is now fixed and uh, you can see we got a proper setup here now. All right, this is our uh, welcome screen. It says uh, Crow Esso, Crow Esso. So, okay, it says, what is chaos? The idea behind chaos is to create a tightly integrated and transparent distribution for the modern desktop built from scratch with a very specific focus. Focus on one desktop environment, KDE Plasma, one toolkit, QT, and one architecture, 86-64, plus a focus on evaluating and selecting the most suitable tools and application. This page will help you personalize the most commonly used settings in your Chaos workspace quickly. So right here, you have your widget style, your plasma theme, your window decorations, your mouse behavior, your icon set, your virtual desktops, your screen settings, colors, and font settings. 
And this is just on a customized tab. Then you have another tab on the bottom that says packages. And from right here, you can install uh, selected packages. Then you have a tab for wallpapers. You have a tag for docs. You have a tag for advance. You have a tag for about. And this is the about for chaos. It is kind of lengthy, but uh, if you want to read it, by all means, go ahead. Then you have news and then you have quit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this open for now. I'm just going to minimize it. Let me see. Is that right here? Yes, it is. So I'm just going to minimize it for now. See if we have to go back to that or not. All right. So this is a uh, plasma desktop environment, KDE plasma. And uh, on this one, we have our panel on the right. And on the bottom, you have your system tray. And on the top, you have your pinned applications, your taskbar, and of course, your applications launcher. So let's open up the applications launcher and look at the settings. You have favorites, all applications, development, games, graphics, internet, multimedia, office, settings, system, utilities and help center then of course you have your shutdowns you know restart shutdown and you also have a places so this is take you to like your folders and things like that all right so this is k also is an independent system uh so let's see let me open this back up and go to packages Let's take a look at the package. So right here, there's a button that says install selected packages. So we'll click on that. And right there, right now, it's asking for a password. So we'll give it a password and see what happens. Oh yeah, I gave it a weird password. So hold on. All right, so right now it's gonna proceed with installation. So I guess it's just gonna install those certain apps. So I'm just going to kill that for now. And let me go ahead and close this. So I guess it's, it's going to install these packages like web browsers, music players, image manipulation, video editors, and office applications. So let me go back to the menu and let me look at the multimedia. What we have Elisa, Haruna, K3B, Camoso, MPV Media Player, Simple Screen Recorder. So it pretty much already has everything you need. So I'm wondering what else it's gonna install. So I guess, uh, let me check the uh, the internet. So it looks like under uh, internet, it allows you to install these uh, following packages. So I'm gonna go back. So right here is web browsers for music players. Let's see. It already has a Lisa, but uh, let me see. Just I'm gonna just try this again. Let it go ahead and install. Okay, this installer is stuck. I don't know what's happening, but uh, it's been stuck on this for like 10, 15 minutes now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kill it and we just go with the rest of the uh, first look. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and, well, I'm gonna minimize it for now. And let's go through what we have here. We have a uh, Dolphin, which is the uh, file manager and it shows the uh, hidden files by default. All right. And what else we have here? We have Kate. Kate is a uh, text editor, IDE editor, whatever you want to use it like. So, you know, we got some text. We write some text. If you want to write some code, whatever you want to do. This is uh, Kate. And right here you have your desktops. So you got desktop one, desktop two. Call them desktop workspaces, whatever you want to call them. All right, and we do have Octopi. So let's take a look at Octopi. I think it's Octopi. At least the icon makes it look like it's Octopi. All right, the following nine packages need to be retrieved. Total download size, zero bytes. All right, now I gotta give it the complicated password. All right, see this finished with no problems. Okay, so can I close this? All right, 
Okay, Octopi went away, I guess. Or that was probably just an updater. So let's look for Octopi again. There it is. All right, so here on Octopi, you know, this is a uh, system installer. So you want to find the packages. So let's look for uh, HTOP. There it is. Click on it. And then uh, let's see, how do we get it installed? Right click, install. Okay, then there's a check mark right here. Click on it. Click on yes. Give it your complicated password again. All right, and that installed. Now let's do NeoFetch. Looks like NeoFetch is not found, only HTOP. All right, we'll go ahead and close this. We'll open up a terminal. The terminal here is console, and we'll do HTOP. And it's using 2.3 gigabytes of the four gigabytes, and the load averages are very low. Let me go ahead and clear this. Let's see if we have a NeoFetch installed by default. We do not. I read somewhere that it had, it also uses uh, Pac-Man. So let me try Pac-Man. Target not found NeoFetch. Let's try something simple like VLC. All right, it does use Pac-Man. So it is using the uh, Pac-Man installer. It says it's an independent system, but uh, it does use Pac-Man. So that's uh, pretty cool. Uh, let's go back to my multimedia and do I see VLC? I do not. Hmm. Maybe a VLC, maybe it uses Pac-Man like through a uh, boxes, like through a, you know, a system that's, uh, you know, boxed in. So let me do a search for VLC and let me type run VLC. All right. So VLC is installed. But I think it's using like boxes or something to uh to install using the Pac-Man installer. But that is just a guess. I am just guessing here, so don't take my word for it. All right, so let's see what else we have. Let's look at the uh, system settings. All right, this is KDE Plasma. You have all your options on the left. Clicking on an option will open up its uh its options right here on the right. All right, so we have uh, input and output, connected devices, networking, appearance and style, apps and windows, workspaces, security and privacy, language and time, and system. Let's look at the about. And this is uh, Chaos 2025. And the Plasma version it is using is 6.2.5. And you have all this other info right here. So you can go ahead and pause the video and take a look at it. All right, so that's pretty straightforward. Uh, apart from that uh, one uh, error we got right here with the installation, uh, everything seems to be working. Uh, it claims to be an independent system and it does everything, I guess, in a boxed in area. So, uh, so far, yeah, everything's good. I would recommend it if you uh if you know your way around Linux and you want to play with a system, this would be something good to play with. Just uh you know I would play with it you know in a in a virtual machine before I go bare metal with it. But uh yeah, it's pretty straightforward. It does what it needs to do. It comes with an assortment of packages, so uh, you know you can do a lot with it out of the box. And if you want to install more, you can use Octopi or Pac-Man to install more packages. So yeah. I like it. All right, you guys. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, if you like what you saw, please give it a like. If not, give it a thumbs down. It's all fair game on Linux Hub. All right, that's going to do it for this uh, quick uh, first look. Well, this is not an actual first look. I've seen this system before, but they just uh, updated a new uh, release, so I just want to take a look at it. All right, you guys. That's going to do it for this video, and I'm out. Thank you.